And I think we have to be really honest about what is our truest essence, what is our most authentic self, and what are things that we do out of anxiety because we don't know what to do or how to operate in a place of surrender and letting go and letting go of expectations and letting go of, does he like me? Where do I stand with this guy? I think one of the most powerful things, and this is my next hot take, one of the most powerful areas in a relationship between men and women in early dating is when the man doesn't know what is going on. When a man doesn't know where he stands with a woman because she's not constantly available. Because you aren't getting into a routine where every time the guy texts, hey, can you want to hang out in two hours? And the woman's just there. I think if you were to create some positive tension, and this isn't by playing games or doing anything intentionally, it's just you are so busy and in love with your life as a woman that you're not constantly available. You're not going to bend over backwards to fit into his schedule. He should be bending over backwards to fit into yours. A toxic man wants you to bend over backwards to fit into his schedule. 100%. But a divine man, a high value man. Healthy man. Exactly. Wants you to have your own life. Wants you to have your friends, your habits, whatever it is that that occupies the far majority of your time that leads to your highest growth and just your happiest version of yourself. A man wants that. He wants to be an addition to your life. He doesn't want to become your life. Mm. And I believe that's the same for most women. If a woman were to text, when are you free? And the guy's like, "Eh, whenever, Eh, anytime. It's kind of a red flag there. Like, you don't, you're not doing something with your life. You don't have plans. You don't have a schedule. You don't have business. You don't have anything. Mm-hmm. Just whenever. Mm-hmm. Again, it sounds like they're both on welfare. <laughs> it sounds like they had nothing to do all day. Mm-hmm. They, they bring no value to the world. And therefore, we both believe, men and women, that if we're not bringing any value to the world, we're not bringing value to a partner or a lover. And so I, I think you're spot on with this. That's a controversial take for most people here, but I think what you said is spot on. Do you find, so let's take our relationship into this one a little bit, Mm -hmm. when men secretly love the chase, a healthy chase Mm -hmm. of not knowing where they stand. Now you can agree agree or disagree with me, but I do think in our dynamic, it's a perfect example of me being a woman who had a full life and a full schedule and was busy doing things I truly enjoyed. I wasn't playing any games. I wasn't telling you I wasn't free when I was like eating bonbons on the couch, even though that's perfectly acceptable and I could absolutely have done that. I just had a full life. So when you would reach out and invite me to things, I just genuinely couldn't go. I agree. So I think what's important, I think this is what is a differentiator between playing games, which is the, oh, download this chat GPT rapper to you know, get text prompts that you can use to make a man want to chase you or be obsessed with you. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying that I had gotten myself into the place where I had loved myself so much and had filled my schedule with things that genuinely lit me up and that I love to do. And I wasn't free. So my energy was expensive. I wasn't just giving it out for free. And he had to earn my energy because my energy is expensive. I love that. It's treat your life as if your energy is expensive. But this is the problem that I see happening over and over again because people hear this and they're like, oh, okay, men want the illusion or women want the illusion that my energy is expensive when it's actually dirt cheap. That's the problem that happens. I've, I've heard stories over and over again out of these games that people feel as if they need to play to kind of show people that they're valuable or they don't really care, whatever it is. Mm. And so they'll set up a date and not show up. Oh, Or no. they'll, you know, yeah. they'll purposely wait 48 hours before they text back. Like, there's a certain sequence of events they believe they must do to show that like, oh, I'm not that interested, even though you really are. Oh, I'm not that free, even though you really are. Mm-hmm. That there's... There's a balance to this that we're trying to make. It doesn't mean you got to go in the extreme and, and and act like you're as busy as the president, you know, <laughs> yeah. or, or the complete opposite of you're doing nothing all day and you're retired. All right. There's a middle ground that must be coming from true authenticity. Absolutely. I think what really stems from this is we really want people to build a life in which they're having fun. They're enjoying their their calendar is is somewhat full of things that, that make them feel lighter and brighter because that is what we want in a person. That is what we want in our lover. We want them to be having a life, Mm -hmm. at least a healthy dynamic would want that. I love that. Thank you so much for watching that clip. I hope you enjoyed it and felt a little love or joy sprinkled into your day. If you want to watch another one, you can go here, here, or somewhere all around here. I hope you have a great day. Bye. Love you.